Alright. Let's, um, let's, uh, there's things I need to push, buttons I need to press, text to change, classic stuff. So it's 121, 121, number four. So as you can see, I spent some more time um, uh, spent some more time on the, 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 the main character or the, the, the primary hero. Um, I played around with design a little bit more. I kind of had this idea of, of it having having dreadlocks. I think it would not dreadlocks, but more like tentacles for for dreads. Uh, I think it'll act as a, like a secondary animation quite nicely. Uh, so today I was thinking to to kind of keep drawing on this one. I want to play with the, this geometrical patterns I was talking about and. Uh, some sort of equipment. Um, I was thinking of a like three D printed gear of sorts, like organic but printed. Um, so we'll see. Mean Machine Atsuki, good morning. Uh, that was not helping me at all. Uh, hey, Kirathi. So let's start the timer and. Uh, <coughs> Let's see if um, we can't get this uh, going. Um, so what I want to do is... Um, um, oh, come on. Don't be like this. Uh, I think I want to add... Uh, um, block it. And uh, I figured out the other day a really cheeky way to do it. Uh, if the line wouldn't be broken. It's only the leg there that's, that, that is broken. Alright, I'll show the, the cheeky cheeky solution. Um, I just got to deselect the inside. I think that is also inside. It's not really super cheeky, but it's an easy way to get a, to get a selection for a block in rather than painting everything by hand. Um, so like now I selected the outside um, and then you can go to select, modify and expand. So you expand it by let's say three pixels. It's going to go into the silhouette but then you reverse it and uh, just fill it and you got a pretty good uh, filled uh, Block it. Super cheeky. Um, hey, Eric Moy. Yeah, I think I'll 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 be uh, I'll be working on the hero uh, today. I kind of wanted to explore the the character uh, a little bit further. Uh, do a block in, um, and um, and uh, see where that leads, uh, because I feel like I need to. Uh, start working towards uh, finalizing at least one um, so that uh, I'm not gonna have like this massive back, back catalog of um, um, stuff to to need to finish so I was thinking you know a lot of these smaller decisions I'm making offline uh, about uh, you know 
color, shape, redraw, and so on. Um, so I was thinking, you know, at least at least I can show show a little bit more of um, the the finer uh, finer detailing and the the like later steps in a, in a development where where you're making different kinds of decisions. Uh, they're not the broad stroke kind, uh, but the, the smaller ones. Because not a lot of people do that. Uh, you know, at least not enough. So, I mean, I've over the two years now, I've been showing a lot of sketching and the kind of broad strokes of designing. I think it, it's a bit nice to also show the smaller, the little bit, the, those, those, those decisions that take a little bit longer. You know. So the one change I did was I was thinking about like how they move and how they act and if they're gonna have like a biological technology like they're they're uh, changing their DNA with function you know so, th so this guy uh, maybe it's changed so that he's the, the, the runner right he's the the speed guy, so he has a lot of internal uh, pockets of air uh, and uh, vents, you know, so that you know, like pigeons or birds, etc. The reason why they can fly so much is because they have such. Uh, they have first of all, they've got. If I'm not mistaken, they got hollow bones, right? Their bones are not solid. Uh, I mean, obviously, as a, uh, as a character, maybe you can't have hollow bones running around and jumping because that that'll won't end well um, because of impact. But I was thinking, um, what would be cool though is is that they're they're designing uh, on the de deliberate pockets of less density in their body, so that they do become lighter and they do they are able to to uh, kind of float with ease more so that they're not like uh, uh, chunky things but they're quite smooth and, and, and uh, you know like fluid in their motions so they, they can jump and fly and they don't they're not as dense as, as uh, let's say humans I think that would be a cool um, kind of characteristic of the of them that they are lighter, they are smoother, they are faster. But that means also they are more brittle. So if uh, some some chunky, chunky creature or or human punches them, maybe the damage would be significant more than 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 the than on a gorilla per se, you know, punch a bird and and you know they 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 can't really deal with it. Hey, Nareda. Yeah, so that's that. That's what I was thinking. You know, like seagull, <laughs> fish-like seagull, bird, light, smooth. Um, but obviously not feathers, um, maybe like a seal. I don't know. But I wanted to, to give them the definitely uh, brighter tones uh, versus the humans dark tones, black metal of the, the humans, white porcelain face, um, so that um, the humans can can imitate that. I wanted to also like play with with color in the face and then how they use the their their like biotechnology to to have uh, lines in the face in a more interesting non in an interesting way, you know. So this the original jetpack idea has spawned into something a little bit more elaborate than just a jetpack. That they are they are changing their DNA to have pockets of air so that they can 
navigate faster through terrain, creating them, making them way more agile. And I also that I made like uh, vents, like gills on the legs, because I was thinking maybe when they're moving extra fast, there's like heat buildup, and they can vent it by uh, by opening the gills, you know, like pushing uh, air into their uh, muscles. Or <laughs> that doesn't make sense because it's not the machine, but um, but you know. Something like that. When, we, when you're sweaty, you'd like some, some cool air. So I'm quite sure that having vents in the body could be a, could be a good thing. All right, so... Mm -hmm. So I think this white, thing, uh, blue parts, are pretty cool. Um, but what I wanted to do though was um, um, switch off the phone sound, and uh, <laughs> then uh, um, I wanted to kind of make it a little bit more human. Um, so I was thinking of like making it a little bit pinker closer to the body so it's just not solid blue um, reason being like the, the, when it's thicker it's more blue when it's thinner it's more blood so that so it becomes a little bit more um, you emphasize empath, empathize with it more you know so that we, we don't get completely removed from the alien, um, you know, like a little bit uh, of a hint, you know, like they bleed as well, you know, that classic thing. So, so the blood isn't too uh, far removed from us, so we can understand what what's happening and relate to it. I think it'll. I think it works. It makes it a little bit more human, right? And also, it means that you can play around with the coloring a little bit more. You know, like what point is soft, what point is thicker. Uh, you can play around with uh, the colors quite a lot more. Some nice gradients here and there. I think it's a cool idea of, of, of like having them to be this quick species of alien that can um, can run quite fast, etc. I think that that's a cool little touch. Why is it like that? Oh. All right, so starting to get a good rhythm of 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 um, of the uh, colors here. I think the the Character, character is evolving. Um, we're starting to, to, at least I am starting to uh, emphasize, emphasize English with um, with the character, right? It would, 
I feel like I can understand understand who and what etc this is right looking at it we wouldn't say it's a an evil alien right alien rib but it does give a interesting um, flair to it right at least for me I, I like the uh, the way how 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 they this this alien starting to look right we were uh, it's, it's, it's soft but hard at the same time you can relate to it but it's new I think it's a good good mix of of, of kind of characteristics now I could go with with pink on its pads uh, but then we'll I will, I'll do a test. I'll make a, a new layer and make all the pads pink. Um, but it might make it feel like it it's soft, too soft. It doesn't that it doesn't feel like it has touched anything. Uh, like if it's gonna be a quick uh, creature running on 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 or in nature or or on different uh, surfaces and like parkouring. <laughs> Um, maybe pink pads wouldn't feel like it. It, it that's the the thing it does all day, right? Now it just feels like it's like a kitty paw. Uh, paw. It doesn't have any experience. Um, also, I think if it's too much pink, we're gonna lose that contrast on the blue. You know, like that that little aspects that makes the wing feel. Uh, a little bit more human uh, and the elements on the body a little bit more human um, so I'm thinking I could probably still keep it pink but I, I probably need to desaturate it uh, darken it a little bit you know just so that there's a contrast so that we understand that this alien is is uh, using its hands rather than uh, living a pristine life I think I think possibly also uh, some dirt, like discoloring on the on the fingers and, and feet, just to further signal that it's a runner. Hey, Henry Peters Art uh, and Vignesho. Good morning. You're new. Hovad one. I think you've been here once or twice. Um, Hey Morphia, glad you could join. So we're at um, halfway point approximately. So as I said, I think pink palms uh, a little bit too cute. So desaturated it slightly, darkened it slightly. Now we can start feeling it's actually being used for things, right? Um, rather than having it pink, or when you feel like it'll, it'll break. But now, a little bit tougher. I mean, we could go with the route of saying uh, blue is tougher, so he has blue pads, and make it a little bit darker. I actually like that. Way more than the pink. All right, <clears throat> let's go with with dark blue pads for now. I have it on a separate layer, so I can change it. Hey, Vignesho. Well, you're very welcome. Glad that you could make it. It's a pleasure. All right, so let's um, let's put some blue in the veins here. Probably should have it pink, uh, but I'm gonna go with blue for now. Um, Let's add some dark to the eye. Probably should have like super blue if possible in the eye. That's pretty cool.
Yeah, I dig that. I like that. Hey, Georg. Welcome. Glad to have you here. So, he got dreads falling down, um, his wings, running gear. <laughs> uh, I do want to change the color of his um, equipment. So I'm just going to do a gray for now and then do a hue, a saturation slider uh, to find an um, uh, alternative to it. Uh, I don't want it to be like part of his body, but I do want to have it feel like it's, a, uh, it's an addition. Uh, I also want to now, um, I feel like this would be the last coloring blocking I would do for the character. Um, and then I want to start uh, playing around with uh, some accessories for him. A little bit more, more of the things I've done now. So I'm going to keep it gray for now. Uh, actually, no, let's quickly see uh, what happens if we change color. Greenish, maybe. Dark bluish, maybe. Probably would, what would be better is like a yellow. To, to play with the colors, right? So it feels a little bit royal, tribal, but maybe it takes that to the wrong direction, but I'm gonna leave it yellow for now. Captain Jetlag. <laughs> yeah, that's true, it's true. I can see that, I can see that. Um, I'm questioning though those pads. Like, are they are they too dark? Should I make them all pinkish, squishy? Mm. Hey, Maxi, welcome. Glad you could make it. I think, yeah, the pads became a little bit too dark for sure. Um, all right, let's play with um, accessories. I want to I want to give, like I mentioned before um, on an earlier stream, I was thinking like they, they, they have technology, right, in their body. So I want to show it somehow, like should it be like a honeycomb pattern? that just becomes um, like a part of them. I think that would be possibly a cool thing. You know, everyone is tired of honeycomb patterns though, but it is an interesting shape to play with. I mean, chances that it's just too much it will look like some sort of infection. But for now, I'm going to keep it. Let's play with accessories. How are you, by the way, Maxi? I'm, I'm good. I'm uh, playing around with the um, Art Station Challenge. Um, Designing currently, I'm designing the hero, the parkour alien that uh, that um, the evil human parasites are going to be hunting. In my my little story I created is that the humans are the last. Uh, they're like the giraffe. They are the they can't evolve anymore, and if they do, uh, uh, we die out. 
So what they've had to end up doing be, be doing is to intervene with technology, and it has created this high monster Frankenstein-like uh, predator syndrome, where uh, where the humans are hunting these aliens for their uh, DNA or power source or whatever their heart. Uh, oh, that reminds me. I should do a heart. A see-through heart. Maybe a pink heart. To make it extra squishy. It looks like seaweed, kind of. <laughs> so let's see. Let's put in a heart. <clears throat> let's fade it a bit. Does it make sense? Mm. Kind of not. Kind of do. I'm not sure. Maybe in the stomach. Pearl. Baby in the stomach. Could work. I mean, it does. The, all the dots on the chest there does kind of center into a, a point. I mean, it could easily just be like there's the heart, right? In the stomach. Like a little baby. Good luck, Lou Rib. Have a good day. Yeah, Kilbrath, the humans are the Borg. Uh, I can um, I can show you Ooh. the um, current state of one of the humans. Uh, so these are the, the, the humans, the hunters, right? The kind of taking the aliens as, as power source, and this guy is the the hero. Not sure about this accessory here like I said feels too much like seaweed I think it's the it's the structure of it it needs to be bolder cleaner shapes and uh, I think more floral kind of like what's going on in the headpiece but without um, being too direct. I kind of want to show that it's some sort of, it has some sort of attachment, that it's connected to the body somehow, and not just floating, but that is, it is like uh, a glove of sorts. What's the time? Four minutes. Good luck, Maxi. Thanks for uh, dropping by, and uh, best of luck with the uh, with the challenge. Looking forward to see what uh, what comes out on your end. It's fun to design worlds, isn't it? All right. So, I think. This kind of shape is more interesting, like we can relate to it, we can understand it more uh, for what it is. Uh, we know that it's what it is, but we also know what it isn't. Um, would be nice maybe to have some sort of hint of a... Does it make it too aggressive with that blade? Probably. Let's not have it. I don't want the pieces to be scared of each other either. They should overlap. All right, that's cool. I, I can dig that. I can dig that. Could even have a little bit of uh, tribal elements, like hanging, just for for to show that it's a little bit of a, a person in there.
and what I want to do at the, some point as well is to go in and uh, give everything some line weight here and there so that uh, the lines are not just so so dead uh, like what I usually do is I just go over the whole thing first with the line and then uh, go back in and, and make it uh, the lines prettier where, where they need to be and clean them clean them clean them up etc but in general I, I find that at least if I do everything in one one with without uh, variation I can easily send it off and, and a client can look at it or whatever you know it won't be so much of an issue uh, being able to communicate what's what's happening by by just doing one line with uh, on everything I mean it doesn't look as pretty as it can so you're kind of having to hope that the client understands it as well. Something like that, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. It's kind of too much. Oh, the struggle. I think something clean like that is better. It's a little bit hard at the moment for me to place what this is, so I'm just trying not to focus in on what it actually is, but more more of uh, what it can be. Let's flip it, dip it. <laughs> it's Friday, by the way. How nice isn't that? What's your plans for the weekend? I will be streaming. Um, my plans is that I will be streaming uh, tonight. Um, I don't know if I will be able to make it because uh, my wife went to uh, abroad with my son and uh, I'm alone with my daughter. Uh, but in theory, everything should be fine. And uh, I will be able to stream tonight. I will do the two-week challenge painovers, and um, ideally uh, work more on the these guys. Um, but yeah, that's the time's up. Uh, hey, Captain Bowes. I'm not sure about the the, the accessories here. Um, Maybe just in one hand. Maybe not at all. Let's remove it for now. It's, it doesn't matter. All right. Thanks everyone for coming. Good night. Have a great day. Good luck with work. Uh, go to bed uh, wherever you are in the world. Um, see you tonight around um, eight o'clock UK time in the evening. Um, and. Um, I will be doing some paintovers, some streaming, uh, having some, some wine, whatever, relaxing. Um, so thanks everyone for joining. And uh, Ladzi is it's an app, or it's a uh, program called Staz. You just attach to the OBS. Um, all right. Have a good one, everyone. Here comes the outro.